On a scale of one to 10, I would think my anger would be 10. Trust me, when that happens, you do not want to be in my room. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going today? It's your favorite Mexican raincoat here. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm not doing too bad myself. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this girl that was on Dr. Phil, who uh, has quite a bit of anger issues, okay? Also, I decided to take a few days off of uploading just because, you know, I, I felt like I was kind of losing my rhythm with everything. So, so yeah, I'm back now. I feel better. I'm, I'm more motivated, all that stuff. Without further ado, we're going to watch a 12-year-old girl with extreme anger issues. It says, violence makes me comfortable. Uh, well, okay. Pretty interesting title. Uh, I guess we're gonna take a look at this. Let's watch. One time, I got really angry. I jumped off my bed, and I pushed my mom, and it really hurt her back. I called my dad stupid, idiot, moron, dumb. Why? It looks like he's going through a hard time. Okay, so we got a troublemaker here, all right? Insulting her parents, stuff like that. Why'd you gotta push your mom? What did your mom do? Obviously, I don't know exactly what went on in the situation, but bro, if my mom ever caught me pushing or shoving her, that would not end well for me, all right? Let's just say that. The end result in that situation would not be looking good for me. Do parents just let their kids shove them nowadays? Is that, is that what's going on? Let me catch my kid shoving me. Good lord. If my brothers and my sisters do something annoying, they're in big trouble. I'll hurt them, I'll threaten. One time, they made me really angry and I chased my siblings around with a knife. All right, thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You chased your siblings around with a knife. Okay, yeah, no, this girl does not need Dr. Phil. She needs a hospital. What is wrong? Like, dude, I've never heard anybody, any kid say that about their sibling. Yeah, whenever I get mad at them, I just like to chase them around with a knife. Like, what sibling does that, you know? Back when I used to live at my old house, uh, whenever I would have an argument with my siblings, it would just kind of be like a shouting war, and that's it. Don't think I would ever think about <laughs> chasing my sister with a knife, dude. When I was six, I had a hamster named Jack. One time I took him out of his cage. I wanted to play doctor. She used the um, maglite and basically beat it to death into a flat object. Okay, well, wait, now she's just randomly killing her pets. Okay, yeah, no, there's definitely something seriously wrong with this girl. This got very sinister very quickly. Dude, why aren't the parents like sending her off somewhere? I mean, obviously they got her on Dr. Phil, but I think she needs a little bit more than just Dr. Phil, all right? Dr. Phil ain't gonna do much. Well, maybe, who knows? I haven't seen it yet. We, he might be doing something. He might convince her to not kill her pet hamster. You know, that'd be great of Dr. Phil if he could do that. Did you smash it? Oh my god. I remember where I did it. It was in the living room. Was he smashed? Yeah, he's... He was gone. She looks like she kind of regrets it. Why'd you do it in the first place if you're now, like, covering your face? Like, I don't get it. Another time, Mom showed us baby birds. I said, oh, they're so cute. Five minutes later, had a bunch of baby birds in my hands. And then that's when I remembered if I put them back in the nest, the mama bird would kill them. I don't think they kill them. I think they just abandon them. Uh, I don't know where you learned that. Let me look it up. Do mom birds kill their babies? Okay. If one chick develops an infection or illness or is deformed in some way, a mother bird may either kill it and eat the, and eat the remains for nourishment. Okay, so it's only if they're like sick. The voices told me if I don't save the baby birds, then they're gonna do something to my family, something bad. Kid, what are you on? Are you smoking crack? Good lord, the birds aren't gonna do anything to your family. What would they possibly do? The worst they can do is like fly over to your window and irritate you, dude. What did this kid grow up watching? Like, you know? So I killed them. Uh, nice, good job, very good job. You, you're definitely very, not crazy at all. You know, not you're not insane at all for doing this. I'm curious to know what the parents have to say about all this, dude. I still have yet to hear their word on this. Violence makes me feel comfortable. It's just a bad situation. Violence makes me comfortable. It's just a bad situation. Okay, first of all, that made no sense. Second of all, you sound fucking crazy. Tell me what it's like when you hear voices. I don't hear them anymore. Did you ever really hear them or were they just kind of thoughts that crept into your mind? I don't know. Like sometimes I hear whispers and I can't make out what they're saying. Damn, so I've been making fun of a schizophrenic this whole time? Well, fuck it. Okay. So it's 
scary for me. Can I just ask, maybe, can you explain, remember that army voice? What? Can you talk a little bit about that and just explain the soldier? The soldier? Like, did you see him or did you just hear him? Bro, I don't, what am I watching? I saw him and I heard him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you saw and heard. His name was Mark and he died on the battlefield. Okay, so this girl apparently knows a soldier who died on the battlefield. Um, so he's dead. Not too, really too sure how he's talking to her. I'm having a hard time following this. Did that soldier tell you to kill the birds or something? Like, I'm lost here. Uh, could you put me back on track? His name was Mark. And he died on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. What kind of battlefield? Where they would, like, shoot guns and stuff. I mean, yeah, that's, uh... That's what a battlefield is. Okay, I'm just nitpicking right now, I'm sorry. Our 12-year-old daughter, Inesca, looks very cute and innocent, but she holds our whole family in a constant state of crisis. Stop a idiot! Oh, okay, all right, like, calm down now. There's no reason to be mad, all right? There's no reason to stress. Let's see what the mom has to say finally, okay? She's finally speaking up. Uh, she said that her, her daughter keeps her family in a constant state of crisis. I'm sure a lot of us don't know exactly what that's like. I mean, obviously we've had like bad moments in all of our lives, but a constant state of crisis. Okay, let's, let's just keep playing this. Aneska is explosive, violent, aggressive. She lies, she steals, and she doesn't respect authority. Knock it off! Wow. You're not taking me, so I don't care! Aneska feeds off of negative energy. None of us know when she's gonna blow. She may hit her siblings, cut her hair. She has gone into my purse and stolen my bank card and gone on a shopping spree. Y'all, okay, listen, listen up. What do you what do you think this girl bought? Like a bunch of matches and lighters at Home Depot or something? It's like this girl has a secret plot to light her entire house on fire. Honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised because what if a what if a voice told her in her head, hey, go light your house on fire, you know? The dad hasn't really even spoken much either, so I kind of feel bad for him too. Recently she took matches, lit paper, and set a comforter on fire. Dude! I I promise you I did not play that part. I did not see that part at all. What the fuck? Did I just predict how crazy this girl was? Oh my god, okay. Listen, I was hoping that she wouldn't actually do that while I said that. I was like, alright, she's not that crazy, right? Okay, she's that crazy, chat. It's confirmed. We absolutely do not know what she's going to do next. When Aneska was six years old, she killed our pet hamster with a metal flashlight. It looked like a piece of carpet by the time she was done. <laughs> Okay, I probably shouldn't be laughing at that. I'm sorry, Chad. Vanessa took it upon herself to grab the baby birds, squeeze them till their eyeballs and popped out and their guts popped out. Vanessa told me that the voices told her to do it. I took her to the doctor and we began antipsychotic medication. The voices did stop, but it didn't stop her outbursts. All right, chat, that is, uh, oh my God. I guess the lesson that we can all learn from this video is uh, if you have voices in your head, don't listen to them and seek help. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you want to. I'm not here to force you. And yeah, folks, hope you all have a good rest of your day. Make sure you guys are taking it easy. Uh, go outside because I know all of you need it. Peace.